Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. One of the great features of Publisher is that you have the freedom to move and rearrange all of the objects anywhere you want on a publication page. In this lesson, you will learn how to move, resize, and rotate objects within publication pages. Before you do any of these activities, however, first click the object that you would like to manipulate in order for it to be selected. You can tell when an object has been selected because it will appear with a solid border that contains small white circles and squares around its perimeter. These are called the resizing handles. You can use them to resize the object if desired. It will also have a small circle on a perpendicular line at the top of the selected object. This is the rotation handle that will allow you to rotate the selected object. To move a selected object within the page, place your mouse pointer over the border of the selected object any place where there is not a resizing handle until you see a small four-pointed arrow appear within the end of your mouse pointer. When this occurs, click and drag the object to a new location within the page. When the object is over the desired location, release the mouse pointer to set its new position. Note that this moving technique is mainly used with text boxes or other text containing shapes. When moving pictures, you can usually hold your mouse pointer over the graphic to see the four-pointed arrow icon appear at the end of your mouse pointer. You can then click and drag it to a new location. You cannot do this to move text containing shapes, as when you click into the middle of a text containing shape or text box, you place the insertion pointer into the text box to edit the text it contains. Instead of doing this, you should use the border to move the text containing objects. You can also select an object on your page and then press the arrow keys to nudge the selected object incrementally. You can resize selected objects by using the resizing handles that surround the perimeter of the selected object. To do this, move your mouse pointer over the resizing handle that corresponds to the direction in which you want to resize the object until you see your mouse pointer turn into a two-pointed arrow. Then click and drag in either direction as indicated by the arrow to change the size of the selected object. As you click and drag, you will see a dashed border appear to indicate the new size that the object will be when you release the mouse button. Just release the mouse button when you have achieved the desired size. Also note that when you are resizing objects, you can resize an object in all directions at once proportionally by holding down the control key when clicking and dragging. You can also rotate a selected object by placing your mouse pointer over the small white circle that appears at the top until your mouse pointer turns into a circular arrow. When this occurs, click and drag left or right to rotate the selected object. As you click and drag, you will see a faded version of the selected object appear to show where the object will be located when you release your mouse pointer. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.